Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And you guys are seeing me at the same exact outfit because, yo, my brother decided we're actually going to be working on his car today. So we wanted to make this a separate video for you guys because there's going to be a lot to do in this video. We're going to be trying to clear up all the plastic off the room. We're going to be taking the whole front end apart from the car. And my brother's going to be doing this all alone. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. The reason my brother's doing this alone, first thing, because I'm not, I honestly wasn't prepared for this, low key, so that's the first thing. Second thing, my brother actually wants to learn how to do everything else around. I'm only just gonna supervise him when he does everything. He hasn't really taken apart the whole front end, so he doesn't know how to do, like deal with the coolant hoses, the AC system, any of that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and guide him, but he's gonna do every step of the way. So I'm gonna show you guys the process he's gonna be going through, so you guys can also go through this when you try to be rebuilding your own E90, E92 chest. So yeah, guys, without further ado, are you ready? He's just chilling. So he needs to stop chilling in the car, he needs to come out here, and we need to start taking apart this whole front end radiator support and they're probably gonna start cleaning up those wheels as well because it looks pretty bad I'm actually so shocked this wheel did not take any damage from the impact that's insane we have some new front end suspension which we're gonna be doing before it actually goes off to the shop so stay tuned for that but yeah guys uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start taking it apart you ready? I'm ready let's get it let's get let's it, it. That's it? That's it, I guess. Yeah, hell yeah. Looking at it from right here after my brother removed the radius, it was actually really easy. Like, he literally, like, a few bolts came off with the crash bar. So, yeah, the fan and everything is already disconnected from the car. It's not going to be rubbing against any belts. We can actually drive this onto the trailer. No issues. The crash rail looks really good. So, that's honestly really good to see. What we did notice is that the crash bar is kind of one with the radiator support. So, we're going to go ahead and try to disconnect it. Yeah, we're going to give you a little bit of force here, right? All right. All right, just kind of go, uh, just kind of go nuts on you. Go Arab style? Go Arab style. Oh, dear heavens, did it come off? <laughs> I think it came off. Yikes. Go, go, go. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit, you good? You good? Okay. And he got the horns and everything. So we are good. We got our we got our crash parts all that we needed from this This actually has the sensor. Do you need this? I think we have the sensor on the other radio support But if you guys don't know these are actually really expensive. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off real quick all right, guys, thankfully, none of these are actually cracked or broken, so we can reuse them both. So the crash bar, I'm going to put back in the trunk so they can realign everything, so we are good to go on that. But meantime, so the body shop knows where all the screws are at. Let's go ahead and put the nuts back on these guys so we don't lose them. Yeah, like I said, everything here looks to be pretty good. So honestly, it was actually really easy. We did not expect it was going to be that easy. Thankfully, the car is now ready to go. We have this piece right here the new piece we have the fender we have the bumper we have the headlight we have the bar so all we need now to make sure the alignment is 100 percent done properly is the hood my brother doesn't really know yet whether he should get a carbon fiber hood or not so let it let us know let me actually i really want to know what you guys think because i don't know if carbon fiber I, i'm not a carbon fiber guy so i don't i wouldn't know and just let me know if it looks good with black paint this specific black paint I think honestly, if any color, it should go with black. But you guys let me know down below. Should you pick up a black carbon fiber hood and rock the carbon? Or do you guys think we should just get another hood and color match it? Let us know down below. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead. We're actually not going to take off these rims right now. We want to detail the whole car. It wants to feel the beauty in the end. Actually, one of you guys even reached out and said that you guys want to do a paint correction. So shout out to you guys. We'll hopefully do that in the end as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump on the E46. We're going to start taking some parts off that car. I know it's like a full-blown E92 rebuild day, but it's a rebuild and it's a take apart. So let's go ahead, take some more parts off that car. It's also a really good practice for my brother. So you can go ahead and take part, more and more parts off. I really want my brother to know how to take every single part off his car. So what better way is to work on this car? Because if he breaks something, it's not the end of the world. If he gets something off, that's a come up. You ready, Dion? Ready. Let's do it. Let's get it. Our right, brother just went ahead and pulled out the alternator. That's super. So that's actually not as bad as it looked, right? Easier than I thought. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty cool. So he pulled out that on his own. He's actually pulled out two pulleys already. I want to see as a challenge because you might as well do it. I'm going to see if he can pull off every single pull that you guys see here. So I'm just going to sit on time lapse to see if he can pull off all those pulleys. Like, Wait, what? This is like a brand new wheel that's like never been open for like 20 years. <laughs> How old is the tire? Dude, the tire is brand new. It's heavy. Look what Jonathan found in the trunk, guys. A brand new, what is it, Continental? It looks, dude, the tire looks so good. 
It's heavy, dude. It's never been used, dude. Oh, How the hell does this still have air like that? <laughs> Continental. Continental. Tour. Can you tell if the year? What's the year yeah, on Yeah, the DOT number. <gasps> what? 2004. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy, Holy crap. It's a brand new tire from 2004, boys. <laughs> I don't trust that for my life. Jonathan wants to give you guys a quick little tip real quick on how to find so, out the year of the tire. On the tire, you look for the DOT number. So right over here, you go down and there should be like a little like rectangle circle kind of thing. And then the last two numbers are the year. So this one says 04, which means it's a 2004. So it was made in 2004, this tire. This car was made, this car was in 2005, right? So this thing was made before and the then, damn car. <laughs> and then, like if you look for yours, DOT right here, 3919. So these were in 2019, the tires that you have. Hey, you heard it boys, 2019. This is the good things we pulled out of the E46 for ourselves. So we got a spare tire, just in case we need to get around the block. It's a brand new tire, it is a 2004. Would not trust it for like a daily, but it is a spare, it will do what a spare needs to do. We also apparently pulled out an AutoZone battery. So we're actually trickle charging, we're not trickle charging it, but we are actually charging it up, seeing if this thing's any good. So we got a spare body, a battery for the shop as well from the car, so that's great. So spare tire, spare battery, and the ignition coils are the exact same ones that fit the E90s, and I think the F32 is not too sure. But they definitely fit this one, we just tested it on this. That's awesome. So we got some parts for us, so the rest of the parts are for you guys. If you guys need any cheap parts, hit us up. If you guys need doors or any of that stuff in our local, those are completely yours, just come pick them up. Even the side screws, just, just come take them. I wanna give it to you guys before you have to go buy them. Anyways, my brother's gonna keep taking some more things off the front end, so uh, let's get to it. I think Jonathan's getting the Harman Kardon system out, right? I'm gonna try to. He's gonna try, it, it's pretty difficult, I think. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, the Aussie work at the front end, Jonathan's gonna be working the rear end, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a good look at him. They are! Yes, I don't think this, I think this guy's got all kinds of problems. <laughs> <laughs> I brought out a great idea. Relays and fuses are scarce nowadays. Let's go ahead and get all the relays and fuses out of here. So right now my brother got the ECU, which is the brains of the actual engine and the car, and then the transmission computer, and then we have a few major relays. So that's what we have so far coming from the front. Meantime, Joth is in the trunk trying to get the Harman Kardon sound system out. We actually pulled out the navigation system from the rear, and this is so this is an 05. It's actually kind of crazy how much this thing is worth. So it just comes to show, if you guys have an old car, instead of just throwing it out, take some good parts out of it, sell it, give it to a friend, because these kind of parts are a lot of money, and that's where the junkyard gets all their money from. You wouldn't even think of stuff like that, but actually they're worth quite a bit. At the same time, Vyaz is just, he's going at it. What are you getting out right now? Uh, I think I'm about taking out Solonod. Solonod. <laughs> just pull it out. We'll see what it is in a out. second. Let's show where we're at today. We got the alternator out. I think that's a water pump. I'm not sure. You guys let me know what that is. A few pulleys, the fan, which is we're just going to throw back in. It's not a big deal. We got four modules and four resistors. Jonathan's gonna go ahead and list some of this stuff on eBay so you can go ahead and we're just gonna try to get this car out of here as soon as possible. As soon as we get that car out, we'll definitely have room for the giveaway build. So don't worry guys, it's pretty soon. Without further ado guys, if you guys wanna support the channel in any way, make sure to check out those hashtags if you need cows down below. And don't forget to let me know what kind of giveaway build you guys wanna see down below. All right guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.